In this series, we've been reviewing a lot of what makes anime and cartoons different. I've tried to be judicious about the ways in which I've discussed this topic as to not sound spiteful towards cartoons. I love cartoons, and among my top favorite animated shows, some of them probably aren't even anime. The primary concern of this series is deconstructing the tendency of some to conflate the two mediums. As an anime lover, I only began to prefer anime content when I grew up and needed something a little bit more narratively and emotionally complex than hugging. So even though in many ways anime are more sophisticated than cartoons, there are also some ways in which they perform equally well and don't differentiate, like in the realm of music or scoring. However, there is one area that not only has no real equivalent in anime, but also is executed on a much higher level in Western animation, and that is in the realm of comedy, and specifically satire. Satire is an aspect of comedy, a genre of expression that appeals to humor, which is part of pathos. Both Western and Eastern animation cater to comedy in their programming, in fact, the oldest animated programs used humor as their primary purposes and tonal appeals. So it's fitting that this tradition would be included as a hallmark of animation as a medium. And there have been many different types of comedies for both Western and Eastern animation. Ones that are for children. This is exactly what nonviolence leads to! Comedy that is geared for adolescents. It's you're just hanging in there, Mayu. You're going to be okay. And comedy that is suited best for adults. Jessica. Morty. <laughs> now, generally speaking, Western animation tends to have more surreal or absurdist humor, types of humor that are more unexpected or avant-garde. They don't have to necessarily be in alignment with the situational logic of each episode. Teen Titans Go could be an example of this, or for adults, Rick and Morty. And although shows like The Simpsons have surreal elements, their comedy is generally grounded in the logic of each episode. These shows fall into the parody category. And now back to Roundtable. These zoning laws are infringing on the uh, rights of citizens. If I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had that your time. Let someone else I speak. haven't said a word. It was that guy. Don't look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Stranded? What's that? Stranded was a show about people marooned on a mysterious island that's riddled with religious and scientific paradoxes. Well, islands are always entertaining. From Gilligan to Iwo Jima. Wait a minute, that flashback raised more questions than it answered. This parody category is something that anime does equally well. You wish to defy me, don't you? What? What shall I do, Kazuma? How should I know? I can feel his filthy eyes on me, hungry, wanting. I are the eyes of a degenerate, one who would make a sex slave of me. Oh, the horror! What should I do, Kazuma? Still don't know. Kuzu Jojo. Kore, Sogura Tabi no Hito. Hmm. Drowning in inch deep water isn't easy. We'll save you! I know that, but. Psyche, hi! I couldn't help but notice you look sad. Perfect! Now he has a memory of me to cherish for the rest of his life. I bet you've fallen in love. That's okay. Even though we're on separate social levels, it's a natural response to my beauty. How else are you supposed to react to perfection? On the other hand, despite anime's use of parody, anime's humor is more often situational or character-driven. Characters have certain quirks or traits that make them funny. You can expect them to say or do a range of things based upon their personalities. The humor doesn't generally bend reality or appear to be incongruent with the logic of the show. Yet satire is an aspect of the comedy genre that is important to acknowledge because it plays an important role in Western culture, a role that doesn't have an equivalency for Eastern culture, and is therefore why satire exists in anime to a much lesser extent. Satire is a way of using humor to show that someone or something is foolish, weak, or bad. Humor that shows the weakness or bad qualities of a person, government, or society. 
Satire as a medium of literature and drama is centuries old. It was a mainstay of Greek playwrights as well as the European writers that emerged later on, particularly those in the 16th century around the time when satire entered the English language. Parody, which is a common type of comedy in both Western and Eastern animation, a comedy that is about imitation and comic ridicule, is closely related to satire, if not a direct ancestor of it. The difference being is parody doesn't necessarily point to some moral failing. They're often conflated. The West does have a lot of programs that are strictly parody, but parody and satire are quite different. In the original form of satire, as in the Greek, the art form was used to poke fun at the faulty nature of our human understanding. Lysistrata was a famous Greek play about women who withheld sex from men to convince them to end the Peloponnesian War. It satirizes the motives behind a war that needed to end, as well as the differences between men and women. Satire continues even through Shakespeare, and contemporarily you might look to Netflix's Don't Look Up, a satire of the vain, avarice, and corrupt nature of America's political and popular culture, suggesting that it would potentially end the world giving the impending destruction of Earth via comet. Western satire can be seen also in political cartoons, poetry, faux news websites like The Onion, and in television. Yet while satire is deeply ingrained in Western culture, Japan's and the East generally, and their use of satire doesn't have as long of a history. There were some instances of satire through politically themed art and graffiti in Japan, as well as in commentary and in some writings. But as a culture, satire hasn't been or evolved into anything as sophisticated as what is seen in the West with plays, motion pictures, and art. In fact, some of our most visible comedy is satirical in the West. This differs from in Japan, where satire is rather a growing movement. This reality is very evident in animation. Lisa Burger asks you out and you call her fat? Do you have any idea how you made her feel? Well, Kim Kardashian is skinny and she just had a baby. This is a fantasy, you moron! You ever heard of Photoshop? Kim Kardashian is a short, overweight woman who manipulates her image and makes average girls feel horrible about themselves. Political party might be considered extremely leftist by some. Do you love even... America? Um, sorry? Why can't liberals ever answer that question with a simple yes? Say you love America right now. Say it. Philosophy is... Say it! Sir, I will not be... Say it or shut up! We'll be back with more fair and balanced coverage. Oh, oh, oh. He just hit him. Oh. He no, no, no! You'll pay for this one. Class, despite my moral outrage, the school principal is allowing you to celebrate Valentine's Day this year. I'm gonna be honest with you. You look insanely good like billy crystal at a clippers game that's exactly what i was going for Women in this series we've discussed the ways in which japan and anime does address quite readily and with finesse the various aspects of human error and drama with nuance and artistry but these depictions have very little to no comedic value so they can't be considered satire they're better described as dramas or tragedies Furthermore, satire historically has been more useful to Western society. Satire is purposeful in pointing out the error in human ways as a society. It is reasonably assumed that Eastern society, being far more homogenous both racially and culturally, has less use for the medium and potentially less access to it based upon the social ramifications of engaging in it in the East, which is still a concern of Japanese comedians, particularly for politically driven satire. The West, on the other hand, is far more stratified on every level. It is also far more democratic historically and contemporarily, Greece being the birthplace of both democracy and satire itself. The West colonial history created disparities all across the world, and in an unparalleled fashion. Resultantly, the West, and particularly America, is the most racially, culturally, and religiously diverse country on the planet. It is also the most powerful. All of these numerous intersections of power, money, and culture have created a lot of corruption and chaos. Therefore, satire has been a useful medium in pointing out the corruption of either morality or power. It has been useful in holding a mirror up to the West that it might examine its values. Particularly, it is useful in animation. 
some of the West's most thoughtful and engaging animations have been satire. South Park is satire. Invader Zim is satirical. Big Mouth has satirical elements. Other shows like The Simpsons or Bojack Horseman fall under the realm of parody, but often their parody points out some type of inconsistency within the zeitgeist. Satire tells us what we might be doing wrong, where our thinking is distorted, and where in life we've become too arrogant, all through humor. Something anime's comedy doesn't capture nearly as readily. So ultimately, when it comes to the mediums of anime and cartoons, it isn't correct to say that anime is ultimately better, as if suggesting that cartoons don't provide something meaningful to culture, either the culture of the West or that of the world. It does. It has been very good at pointing out the failings of our society, and it is important to keep that tradition. We cannot allow shows like South Park or The World of Gumball to disappear. Animation and satire, animation and parody, give us a chance to gain perspective and reflect in sometimes a more potent way upon who we are as a people and how far we've come. It keeps us from believing the dangerous notion that our outgroup identities make us immune to human nature. Something anime does well, but something cartoons address in comedy on a deeper level. In another way, cartoons and anime differ.